Okay, so I've got a flatworm, planaria, in a petri dish, and I'm going to try to replicate an experiment I did in high school a long time ago to see if my memory serves me right. I'm going to cut this worm in half and see if um, the top half generates a new tail and the bottom half generates a new head. Well, I didn't cut him very much in half. I got a little piece of his tail. Let's see if that is enough to work. I'm wondering if I should cut a little more. There. So I cut him into thirds to make up for my mistake, probably with a bigger mistake. But let's see what happens. So 24 hours after I cut my planaria into, unfortunately, three pieces. You see here that the part with the head is doing very well. It's still doing what it did before I cut its um, body off. The head's still in control. It's moving around. Now the other pieces have not moved. Here's a, what looks like the midsection. And here's the tail. That one's finally moving. It responded to stimuli, and the middle section is alive and moving. Wow. That's pretty cool. And the tail section is also responding to stimuli. So the experiment is working. Uh, the three pieces are exhibiting signs of life, and look. Whoa, they're almost coming together. That is pretty cool. Okay, so this is Thursday afternoon. I've been kind of peeking in, seeing some activity on two pieces. This piece here, which I think is the middle, has not... Whoa, it's, it's moving. It's alive. So it looks like it's regenerating enough to move around. Then there's this piece right here which also looks to be doing rather well. There it goes. That looks like maybe the original head, or it's getting a new head. Then the third piece, where did it go? There it is. That one has a fully developed head. See that? So I cut this original planaria almost a week ago into three pieces, and all three pieces are alive, moving, and seemingly regenerating. We'll keep checking in to see if we're going to have three planaria with heads and tails. Okay, so based on the evidence provided here, I'm going to conclude that cutting a planaria flatworm into three pieces will result in three living planaria. There's one. Looks like he's got a fully formed head and tail. There's the other one. So there are two right there. And there he goes. Right there. One. Two. And three. Three. Fully formed pieces with heads and tails. Response to stimuli. Hard to observe eating. I haven't been able to see it, but there's the head. And the one over 
here. Response to stimuli. There's the head. There's that one. Responding to stimuli.